The next question, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Injil and the Torah before the Quran was revealed, why don't we find any copies of the original unchanged and unadulterated Injil which was revealed to Jesus peace be upon him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كِتَابٍ For each period we have sent a book. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil and the Quran. The Torah was the Wahid the revelation that was given to Moses, peace be upon him. The Zabur was the Wahid the revelation that was given to David, peace be upon him. The Injil was the Wahid the revelation that was given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the Quran is the last and final revelation that was given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. By name, four revelations are mentioned in the glorious Quran. But there are several other revelations, for example, Suhuf Ibrahim, the scrolls of Prophet Ibrahim. May Allah be pleased with him. But all the revelations before the last and final revelation, the glorious Quran, they were only meant for their people and for that time. But since the glorious Quran, it is the last and final revelation, it was not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but it is meant for the whole of humanity. And the reason these scriptures, they were not preserved is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not find it fit to preserve them. And they were time bound. They were only meant for those people and for that time. And through the passage of time, these scriptures, they were changed. And the messengers, the prophets who were sent at that time with those revelations, they were only meant for those people. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, wa rasulan ila bani Israel, and a messenger to the children of Israel. Talking about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, that he was only meant and he was sent for the children of Israel. But since the glorious Quran, it is the last and final revelation. It was not meant only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but it was meant for the whole of humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 1, that the book is revealed to thee in order to lead mankind from the depths of darkness into light. A similar message is repeated, is mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number 14, verse number 52. Here is a message. Let them take warning thereof. Let them know that there is one God. Let men of understanding take heed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, Ramadan Hudallin Nas wa min al Huda wal Furqan. Ramadan is the month in which the glorious Quran was revealed as a guidance for the whole of humanity. And a similar message is also mentioned in Surah. Zumur chapter number 39, verse number 41, that the glorious Quran is meant for the whole of humanity. The glorious Quran is not meant only for the Muslims, only for the Arabs. It is meant for the whole of humanity. It is a guidance for the whole of humanity. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was not sent only for the Muslims, only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Arabs, but he was sent for the whole of humanity.